so it is another day of drugstore makeup um, so I think there are two products that I couldn't find drugstore versions of um, that I liked to be fair and I managed to do this I haven't even officially opened the package yet and I dropped the blush. I don't have another blush, <laughs> so I'm just not wearing blush today. Uh, um, in my last drugstore tutorial, um, I talked about some products and there were some that I did not really love. So I went on a bit of a mission to try to find better versions of those. So the only thing I, I can't seem to find at this point is decent drugstore eyeshadow and then um, decent drugstore brow liner. So my my brows are very, you know, fine and thin and such, and I don't make them crazy. I kind of just go with their natural shape. So if you have suggestions for drugstore eyeshadow um, and drugstore brow liner, please leave them below. I'm gonna continue with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I'm using Nude Ivory, uh, which is a great color match for me. I'm super pleased with how this looks. All right, so at about this time, I wasn't sure if the sound was gonna be viable, and it was not, because Sean started mowing the lawn or weed whacking right outside the window of where we're filming, so just wasn't working. <laughs> so I'm using the IT Cosmetics Buffing Brush. I'm trying to use a smaller amount of foundation now that summer is here, and I just want light coverage. I obviously wanna cover up as much of that redness as I possibly can, but I just don't want a thick layer of uh, foundation on my face. So I'm really just trying to use a little bit and then buff it in and then um, go in with concealer. So that was the plan with this. Um, so I decided to go in with the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in light. Still not loving that applicator, but I do really like the product. So I'm trying to just go with it and, uh, I don't know, find some other solution at some point. Um, but anyways, using this on my under eye area and also kind of as an eyeshadow primer. And then I've been just sort of dabbing this in, pressing it in um, with my finger. So just finishing up pressing that in and warming it with my finger and that really helps blend it into the skin and it's a good base for our eyeshadow as well. Alright, so now I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. I really like this stuff and I'm just using a powder puff brush and I'm putting this um, my t-zone wherever I would normally sort of get oily and also wherever I put the concealer just to help set it and um, it'll also stop it from being too much of a boundary when I go to put eyeshadow on um, okay so just over my redness and anywhere I put the concealer and my t-zone in general uh, which is my you know dreaded area of my face in case you're curious um, okay, so now we're going in with the Butter Bronzer, which legitimately smells like butter. It smells really good. Um, and it comes with this weird applicator. I don't even know what to do with that, but it does smell really good. Okay, so I'm using the Unique Blusher Brush. Uh, I usually use this for bronzer and blush. It's just sort of perfect for that. So on the perimeter of my forehead and on my cheekbones to give me a little bit of a glow. I really do like this formula. I like the smell. Uh, I think it's really pretty. I think it looks nice. So this is a great um, new addition to my makeup and this is something that I will continue to use. It has definitely been one of my favorite products. Um, and then sometimes I take it on the perimeter of the bottom of my face and then sort of down my chest. Um, it is completely matte though. There is no shimmer in it. Um, all right, so I'm going into my Lorac Pro 2 palette. Um, yeah, not loving my hair. I'll play with that later. Um, and this is one of my favorites because the whole top uh, portion of the eyeshadow palette, okay, so I'm going in with cool gray, is matte, and then the bottom is shimmer. So I just really love that there's a good variety of matte eyeshadow colors to go into. So I'm mixing um, the light brown and the cool gray in my crease. Okay, so I'm blending these with the angled brush in the crease slash uh, above the crease portion of my eye. Um, this is a really good idea if you have deep set eyes or hooded eyes. You can obviously do this with any shape eye, but it tends to really flatter those of us with 
um, hooded eyes and such. It gives a little bit of that extra dimension. It kind of recedes the hood a little bit. Um, and this, these two colors uh, really do blend quite beautifully together. So I really like that shape and that color payoff. So just continuing to blend them together. And then of course putting a little bit of that along the lower lash line. I do put the vast majority of the color on the outer portion, but I do blend it all the way in. Okay, now I'm going in with rosé, and this is one of the shimmer colors, and I'm just going in with my finger and then just sort of dabbing this or pressing it in to the moving portion of my lid. Um, so this is a good place to put shimmery colors, in case you're wondering. Okay, so this is the Wet n Wild um, Black Retractable, um, I'll leave a link for it below, um, eyeliner. Uh, I've been testing out different black and dark brown eyeliners just to try to find a formula that I like that doesn't transfer and that lasts all day. Um, and then going in with the Lash Sensational Maybelline Mascara. Um, I tend to not show the mascara portion of my videos because I just have such crappy lashes it never looks good. Um, okay, so going in with a nice sort of neutral peachy pink lip liner. Uh, this is the Maybelline one in the color Purely Nude, and then I'm using 545 in the Maybelline Color Sensational Matte. This is Beige Babe, um, and this is the finished look, guys. Thank you so much for watching.